All right, back into it. Hmm. Do I talk to Pan, or does it go straight to Persephone? Mm. Ah, mm, 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 I'd say hello, Grace, but I'm afraid that look on your face might be catching. I just... What is this place? It's a garden, darling. Surely even mortals have them. This building. All those people I pass getting up here. Are they all idols? Well, at least some of them. Welcome to Olympus, dear Grace. Our home hidden away in plain sight. Marvelous, isn't it? I've passed this part of the city a hundred times. I've never seen this building. Was it always here, or...? Our Lady Hecate provides glamours that allow certain things to go unseen, such as my glorious horns. Olympus is the same. Those invited see it. Those who aren't see exactly what they expect. It's not anywhere as grand as in the old country, but it, it serves its purpose. I don't know, Pan. Olympus seems pretty grand to me. As if mortals would know any better. This isn't the first time you've been here. I'm sure Hermes took you to Athena's dreary office. Uh, that's here? Huh. Good one, that Hermes. Almost as dull-witted as the original, but biddable. <laughs> How many idols are there? I've met, what, less than 12? Oh, I don't no, 20, 30. Our numbers have dwindled so much I've stopped keeping track. I didn't know there were that many gods. We're not all equally legendary, it's true. Some idols were barely worshipped, others not at all. Indeed, not all of us are idols. Some are merely immortal. Hangers on, if you will. You'll meet them all, given time. Idols live here? I mean, Calliope didn't, obviously. Apollo doesn't either. One must have special dispensation from our Lady of Wisdom, Athena, before they can take up a private dung heap like Apollo's. <laughs> Am I going to have to give up my apartment? There's a heap. <laughs> That's rather putting the cart before the horse, darling. First, you must outlive the weak. Right. Good point. You asked me to meet you here? I did, I did. Though I feared you might decline, considering your rather callous rejection earlier. Regardless, my pride is intact, as is the favor you owe me, which I now wish to collect. Fine. But just so you know, I'm not doing anything that's against the rules. I already have one trial coming. Grace, baby, Boobala. Boobala. Have Love I Boobala. Have I led you astray? Not yet. Here's the thing. A friend has begged for my help, and you're far better suited than I to offer what he requires. I'll give you a key to reach the reliquary where he resides. You help him, and then we're even. If that's not enough incentive, the reliquary is also where you'll find the lovely Hecate. A sorceress of her power could aid your quest. What do you say? This person I'm to help. What does he want? And why can't you do it? Well, Grace, there are some things you're better equipped to handle than I. This, as I understand it, is a delicate matter of the heart. One that requires a muse's hand. A matter of the heart? What, did you think I was sending you to rough someone up? Set something aflame? Don't be absurd. The man <laughs> has an issue with his love life. Even if you can't help him, I'll treat the effort as worth the favor. So that's it? Fix up someone's love life? Nothing trickier than that? 
Oh, the way you talk, Grace. It makes me blush. Well, it's just that... I trade in willing favors, Grace. If I didn't, no one would want to do as I ask, and then where would I be? I may seem untrustworthy, but allow me to reassure you. If I wish you harm, you will walk into that harm knowingly. And with open arms. Well, that's uncomfortable. You're right. saying you can talk me into anything? Anything you would enter into willingly and with eyes wide open. Which covers a great deal. Yes. That's surprisingly ethical of you, Pan. I find consent wildly attractive. Agreed. What is this reliquary? Doesn't that have something to do with the bones of saints or something? <laughs> Not those relics. Our relics. The relics of ancient gods. Magical treasures collected over thousands of years. Books, mainly. We store them in a faraway place so no one unsavory can get their hands on them. Unsavory like you? Unsavory like most. Athena has decreed that these relics are not to be used by any save Hecate and herself. A rather dull waste of so much amassed knowledge and power, but who am I to judge? I'm not leader of the chorus. If these relics are off limits, does that mean they're dangerous? Some, but I'm not asking you to chase after any of that nonsense. In fact, I'd advise against it. But what if one of those relics could help me? <laughs> my, my, such an adventurer you are. It's possible, but ask Hecate first. She, and I mean this with complete and uncharacteristic seriousness, is not an idol you or anyone wishes to cross. True. This Hecate, do you think she could help me? If she's of a mind. She is the goddess of dark magic, the creator of all our marvelous glamours. If anyone can help you, it is she. And if she's not of a mind? Then she won't help you. Grace, that part is up to you. I can't be expected to do everything, can I? I'll think about it, but no promises. Marvelous. The gentleman you seek is named Asterian. Lovely fellow, mm. quite harmless. I'll send a package to your domicile that contains directions and the key you'll need to reach the reliquary. I said no promises. Well, if you decide to go, Grace, you'll still need all those things. Say hello to darling Hecate on my behalf, will you? <laughs> I do like Pan. Let's go talk to Persephone now. Oh, back already, are you? It's just as well. I've asked around, called in some favors, just enough to get an idea of what all the idols are currently up to. Much as I'm loath to admit it, I'm back to thinking Pan may be our prime suspect after all. Hey, Persephone. Nice to see you, too. Oh, I'm sorry. Are we girlfriends now? Did you come here for a social call over mimosas? I wouldn't turn down a mimosa. <laughs> oh, well, by all means, put your feet up. Hey, let me get you a cushion. It's your life on the line, not mine. While waiting for your drink, perhaps we can return to the subject of Pan. Why Pan? I thought you'd rejected him as a suspect. I did. It doesn't seem like his style. Pan has always preferred scheming over direct confrontation. But the thing is, how did he know about you so quickly? What does he hope to gain by sticking his nose in? A favor or two, I guess. Half the idols owe him a favor or two. No, no, he's up to something else. Until I know what it is, I can't discount the possibility that he's involved in all this. I actually went to see Pan at Olympus. I guess that wasn't such a great idea? It depends. What did he want this time? He asked me to repay the favor I owe him by helping someone at a place called the Reliquary. The Reliquary? Interesting. I wonder what his angle is.
What's so interesting about the reliquary? It's a magical library of sorts. Who knows why Pan's interested in it? My suggestion? Do as he asks. At the very least, Hecate might prove to be of help to you. If it's written in her bloody book. Her book? You'll see. I want to send you to a party, Grace. One Aphrodite is holding. She and Eros know Pan perhaps better than anyone. If you go, it'll give you a chance to find out what he's really up to. Why a party? Couldn't I just go wherever she lives and ask her? You could, but if you go to this party, she'll be grateful. She holds it from time to time and always asks Calliope to attend, but... Calliope never would. You can put two and two together. A grateful Aphrodite might be willing to tell you what Pan is really up to. You know Aphrodite better than I do. Can't you talk to her? She and I... don't get along. Like how you and Apollo don't get along? Even more intensely than that. I once said some things about her husband. They were true, but <laughs> unwelcome. Suffice it to say, if I showed up at Aphrodite's party, revealing Pan's secrets would be the last thing on her mind. One wild party with a goddess of love coming up. It's less of a wild party and more of a somber affair. You mean like a cocktail party? <laughs> Let me put it this way. Apollo will likely be there. Gotcha. Oh. Expectations of fun downgraded considerably. I'll let you know what I find. Can't be a party when the sad boy's there. All right, to the reliquary. The shipping container, apparently. Oh, apparently Freddy's with me. <laughs> when I opened that shipping container, I was expecting, I don't know, rats. Uh, yeah. Instead, we have. <sighs> Where the hell are we? It's hard to say. Weren't we going to some kind of library? That's how Pan described it. He said it was a, um, what's the word? A reliquary? That is where relics are kept, like magic items, like when we played D&D. This is Nerd. not like D&D. Well, I don't know about you, Grace, but if a dragon came flying out of that mist, I would not be the least bit surprised. <laughs> you are such a nerd. <laughs> Speaking of, how much do you actually know about Hecate and this idol you're supposed to help? Do you know anything about this Hecate? It's not a name that rings bells. Mm, let's see. Well, she was the goddess of witchcraft, the really duck kind. Oh. But she's never really portrayed as evil. She was more of an outsider, lived alone, off in our little corner of the underworld. <gasps> Do you think that's where we could be? Oh, that is so cool. Oh, I bet knowledge is important to her. It could be an angle if you talk to her. I'm so glad I brought you, Freddy. I wouldn't know the first thing about any of this. Nah. Well, I hope it's actually helpful to tell you these things. Why wouldn't it be? Because well, it could all be wrong. I would have never pegged Apollo for a surfer dude with confidence <laughs> issues. <laughs> yeah, good point. Sad surfer boy. The idol we're here to help is named Asterion. And you know who that is, right? No. Should I? That's the Minotaur's real name. You know, big bullhead, horns, lives in a giant labyrinth. <sighs> Pan did not mention that. Why am I not surprised? This Minotaur. You don't think he might be dangerous, do you? Well, traditionally he eats people, but he was also supposed to have been slain by the hero Theseus. Well, not so slain after all. Pan says he has a problem with his love life. Hmm. Maybe he needs to stop eating all his girlfriends? Okay, I knew that sounded wrong at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> we should go inside instead of standing out here in the fog. Eh, it's more of a mist, really. A mist potentially full of monsters. In we go, then. Look, it's just a creepy mist. Nothing to worry about. Pan? Metal in love lives? Sweet talk, the goddess of witchcraft? Freddy, who are you dealing with? The master meddler and sweet talker. Damn straight. 
I look forward to seeing you in operation. There's no way at all this could go poorly. Oh, eek. I guess the Titan thing is literal, huh? Mortals within the reliquary. Who permits this intrusion, this sacrilege? This knowledge is not meant for the likes of you. I shall grind you into the dust from whence you came. Immediately out of 10. I am really sorry if we startled you. My name is Grace. We've never met before, but uh, I'm the new muse. And I'm Freddy. <laughs> Big fan. If I broke a rule, I apologize. Pan didn't mention anything about that, I'm, I'm afraid. You are Grace? Then Calliope is dead. Not as big. Is that now? I thought that was not for another 11 months yet. Wait, what? You knew Calliope was going to die? No, I am not informed of this for another 11 months and 3 days. Or I could just tell you now? That cannot be. It is written. Uh, yes, it's right here. Calliope joins Grace's band. They become friends. Months later, there is an automobile accident and an accident no, that's not what happened are you saying the books are wrong they're wrong about this calliope was murdered just a few days ago that is impossible i don't know what to tell you you will explain we will both sit and you will explain there will be tea <laughs> very awkward she is <laughs> Curious. It is clear something unanticipated has occurred, something outside the realm of fate. Uh, is that even possible? It is, but I must follow the threads back to their source to find the origin of the deviation. It may take years of research. Years? I don't have years! That is unfortunate. If there is nothing else, I must ask you both to leave so I may begin at once. Is there no way to speed that up? Whoever's behind it might be the murderer. Such threads are not so easily untangled. I must consult the Moirai, if indeed they are not the ones responsible. The, the Moi what? You might know them as the Fates. They, or any beings of a sufficiently cosmic nature, have the power to undo the order of things. That does not sound good. Certainly not. They are also not beings I can summon at a whim to solve your mystery. I am sorry. Actually, I came here to speak to Asterion. If, uh, he is here. A visitor for Asterion? How strange. Oh! Uh, Aww. Are we doing guests? Is that a thing? I, I, I didn't know. Wow, okay. Freddy was right. Aww. As if there was any doubt. My old friend, this is Grace. She is our muse from the line of Calliope, and it is she who asked for you. He's so cute. I'm here on behalf of Pan. He owes you a favor? Something to do with- No! Shit, not Pan! Nah, I never heard of him! Asterion, of course you know Pan. <laughs> no, nah, no idea what he'd want. No, sir, no favours. Uh, nah, not this mine at all. There you have it, Grace. I believe now is the time when you leave. But <laughs> mm, there must be some mistake. No, 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 no. There is no I've mistake. already figured out what that is not about. this time. Are you sure about that? Because I'm not going. It is written. Did you hear that? Pan sends me all this way and Asterion won't even talk to us? 
Maybe there's another Asterion? Yeah, more likely Pan's got me chasing my tail. This was pointless. Well, I don't think we're getting back inside. Do you have another plan? I don't know if my powers will even work on Hecate, but it's worth a shot. Ooh, a musical number. Yes. Do you think this one could be... Uh, do you hear what I'm hearing? <laughs> oh, 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 you still here? That's run the entire... Oh, that's a long way, isn't it? Oh. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to send you away, all right? I just couldn't tell you. Not in front of Kate. Kate? Why couldn't you... Wait. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Oh, this is so great. I love this. I heard what you said about Calliope. I can help you. I really, really can. It, it has to be you. I am so in love with my dear sweet Kate. I, I just don't know how to tell her. Please help me tell her. Let me get this straight. You're in love with Hecate. That Hecate. Oh, mate, Kate is... She, she's just the best. <laughs> like, she knows everything, and she always smells so good. Like, she's so nice to me, and she doesn't even have to be. And oh, we got stuck in the tower together because we can't live in the mortal world. I know I could make her happy. I, I, I want to try. Oh, won't you help me? Oh, of course I will. Why would I not? Have you tried, oh, I don't know, talking to her about how you feel? <laughs> I take that as a no. I don't have the words. I've tried. Every time, I end up knocking over a table or killing a cat or talking about how sometimes meat has that grisly texture I don't like. You killed her cat? Oh, no. It was a small cat. I panicked. I'm just not good at words. I'm really not good. At words. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Do you really call Hecate Kate? Off topic, I know, but I, I have to ask. Sometimes she has to go into the mortal world for a short time and do things for Athena. Uh-huh. And... Well, she had to make up a magic disguise, you know, a new identity. And I, uh, I thought she should give it a proper name. And you suggested Kate? Yeah, she really liked it. She said, thank you, Asterion. <sighs> <laughs> Baby boy. Are you really the Minotaur? Like... The monster who roamed a maze and ate people? And is supposed to be dead? Uh, well, my father locked me up in a labyrinth, but I never ate anyone. Oh, well, that's good. Except Theseus. But he, he was a bell end. Yeah, that's yeah, 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 that's right. Okay, so you're in love with Hecate. <sighs> what is it you think I can do? Get the words out of him. knows about poetry and, and the heart and, and how to make words beautiful. All I want is to ask her, but I need good words. You know, please, please say you'll help me. I mean, it was obvious it's like why he would want need the help of a muse. The muse are, you know, good at getting the words that someone has inside their heart out. You've already proven that multiple times so far. So, like... <laughs> I do this, and you'll help me in return, right? Athena made Kate swear. She's not allowed to say anything about what happens at the tower. But she never made me swear. Ah, Maybe loopholes. she never thought anyone would ask. But I'll tell you. Even if Kate doesn't like it, I'll tell you. If I do this first. If you help me, any trouble will be worth it. Hecate might say no. You know that, right? Well, she probably will. I mean, she's Kate. And I'm me. But just once. I I'd like to be able to ask her, you know, t to say it out loud instead of thinking it. I'll still help you. No matter what she says. I promise. I don't know. Doesn't this feel a little weird? Which part? Helping him woo her with my powers. You heard what Pan said. 
You can't make anyone do anything they don't want to do. You can only make them say what's in their heart. Which is exactly what he needs help yeah, with. That's the part I can't. Exactly. It's like that's what he needs help with. Okay. I have an idea. Y you do? <clears throat> well, y you do? You, my bullish friend, are going to sing your little heart out. <laughs> Grace always has the best ideas. Let's go. Set up a vibe and you go for it. I'm not great at words. I'm, I'm more of a dancer. Just speak from the heart. Be honest. You can do it. You cast a spell on me. Not literally, obviously. But I feel in summary, you and me are meant to be. Cause you put a hex on me. You didn't do it to me directly. I'm, I'm not blaming you specifically. Just that metaphorically, shit, can someone help me? It's okay. Okay, what are some of the things you love about her? Hecate, with you there's so much to love. Oh, I'm not saying you're fat. Oh, God Did damn it. not just say that. It was not, it was not so needed. something she doesn't know about herself. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, T, to me, you know you in rapture. Oh, good work. Is your pallid skin. Your lips are so thin. Your love of books. Asterion, I have but one thought. Why is it that you seem so distraught? Are you saying you're in love with me? You couldn't possibly. Really? Oh, you're doing great. Give it another go. You've cast a spell on me. It's a feeling that's killing me. But let's say categorically. Oh, Katie, it's just you and me. I cannot hide from my reality. I can't help but think it's best that you forget me. I feel so little joy. My want is to destroy. You will come to resent me. I'm truly fond of you. Yet now it appears that you love me. How can you be so sure? What is my allure? Tears are near certain. I could never make you cry. It's not my tears I fear. What if I lose you? Couldn't. Oh, I feel so powerless. Let me be crystal clear. Do you believe this love of yours shall persevere? Despite all it won't face, it won't disappear. My virtues are few, and if we see this through, the pain that we share may be too severe. Oh. She sings my song better than I do. Help me! This is a disaster! Grace, help me! Hecate, if you don't mind, I'll take the floor Because I feel obliged to help this minotaur He's a bit absurd, he gets stuck on a word But he flies like a bird when you He's already moved in. Please understand, Grace, it's not him I can't face. My heart is a difficult place to admire. Hot coals at its core burn so many before, yet he carries this torch unaware of the fire. 
I'm tempted, but what you're all telling me is nothing will go wrong for its destiny. Have you truly considered this carefully? Black magic takes a toll, and if you lose control, the cost is paid by reality. Is my heart worth everything going amiss? I cannot protect you from the dark abyss. So don't dismiss, just resist. You think that I don't know the darkness inside of me. You know the stars, but do you remember your history? I love the person I have become. You changed me. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Asterion. Hate? It seems you've cast a spell on me. You will not regret this. Yeah, let's go! It is written. You've cast a spell on me. To think I shall have my own story. You've cast a spell on me. And we shall write it together. You've cast a spell on me. A tale of romance and glory. Do we have enough leather? You cast a spell on me. Yeah, let's go! I got my baby boy is giant is goddess. That was diverting. You felt this way the entire time, Asterion, and you said nothing? I didn't think I was worthy. I mean, look at me. I'm only, you know, half a man. You have been a devoted friend over the long and lonely years, Asterion. I only wish I had realized sooner we could have been more. As for you, Grace, I thank you for arranging this diversion, however it came to pass. I, I don't get it. Didn't you know this would happen? Wasn't it written? Of course it was. It was also written that I would be unaware of Asterion's feelings until he spoke them to me. But you knew that. I follow the rules. It is written. <laughs> I'm glad to see someone happy, finally. That would be me. I am also not displeased by this course of events. Wow, look at you, living the wildlife. Come, Asterion, I wish to speak of this further. And find an appropriate outfit. Hey, wait for me outside, yeah? How long are we supposed to wait? It's been over an hour. I'm sure it's fine, Grace. I doubt the Minotaur would break his promise. <laughs> <laughs> so, He's right around the long way. <gasps> Whew! You still here? I'm sorry. Kate had a lot to say. Oh, I'll bet she did. Yeah, well, Kate wants us to uh, talk about our feelings more. And there, of course, was uh, tea. <laughs> right, so uh, I suppose you want to know how Calliope broke into the reliquary that night. She did what? No. Uh... We didn't know anything about that. Do you mean the night she died? Oh, well, I, I, I thought you already knew. Uh, yeah, the, the night Calliope died, she, she broke in somehow. Thing is, we know she didn't take anything or even touch anything. I just remember the alarms, and I chased after her.
Did you say the reliquary has alarms? Like burglar alarms, cameras? Oh, no, 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 nothing like that. It just has a lot of protections. You know, magic. Yeah. I don't know magic, actually. Oh, uh, well, it's just meant to keep the dangerous stuff from being touched. Yeah. It was set off, so something happened in the reliquary. We just, uh, don't know what exactly. Hmm. Those alarms don't go off if someone breaks into the reliquary? They don't <laughs> detect intruders? Well, uh, normally nobody does that. Well, Calliope did. Point. She got in somehow. Well, she must have snuck in the back way. Where do you think I keep running from? Whatever Calliope did here, it was enough to set off the alarms. That's all I know. What relics are there? Maybe Calliope was looking for one, but couldn't find it before... Yeah, that I'm not supposed to say. Do you have the Golden Fleece, the Shield of Zeus, the Sword of Damocles? Is it suspended? Uh, <laughs> you know a lot about that stuff for a mortal. So it's all real? <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny any of that. All I know is that nothing got used and nothing got taken. I love how like, he's surprised. Like, well, you do realize this is all just mythology to humans, and anyone who takes an interest in it is, of course, going to know a lot about it. Not going to know the exact specifics, obviously, but they're going to know well, at least that things exist. How do you know Calliope didn't touch or take anything? Kate knows everything in the reliquary, right down to the last book. She's been looking, but she can't figure if anything was touched. It makes her so mad not to know. And it made Athena pretty mad, too. Athena got involved? Yeah, when Kate finally told her. Athena wants Kate to keep investigating, but it doesn't look good. Athena knows what happened here the night Calliope died? Yeah, Kate told her a day or so later, I think. We didn't know Calliope died that night, though. What? Athena didn't mention it? Nope. Not that that's weird. She's, uh, well, she's not the chatty type, you know? She came in all quiet and cool, wanted to know who was here that night and what Calliope might have wanted. She swore Kate to silence. Not me, though. Guess she's not as smart as Kate. <laughs> you chased Calliope, but did you ever catch up with her? Uh, no. If I'd have caught her, I'd have brought her back and Kate would have gotten answers out of her. All I know is, is that she was uh, bleeding bad, but I don't know why. Hmm. I wanted to help her, but she got away in the fog. Then I ran into Medusa. Wait, what? Medusa? Here? Yeah. Well, she's not normally here. I think maybe she was chasing after Calliope too. Hmm. Meaning Calliope was either injured somehow in the reliquary or before she got to the reliquary. I'm guessing she went to Grace's after leaving here. Hmm. What was Medusa doing here? She was chasing after Calliope too, I think, but she wouldn't say why. I asked. She never got into the reliquary, though. She was just out here in the fog. Couldn't Medusa have broken in like Calliope did? Yeah, but I chased Calliope from the reliquary. If Medusa had been there, I would have seen her. How could Calliope have been wounded? It couldn't have been Medusa, like I said. She never got close. But Calliope was wounded inside the reliquary? That's where the blood was. We don't have anything that would attack anyone, though. So someone else. But they did it inside the reliquary. If so, they vanished after. This means Calliope came here the night she died. This is where she was attacked. But we don't know by whom. We know Medusa was here. She might even have been involved. She's talk to Medusa. scary, but... Uh... You know she works for Athena, right? Oh, that's I thought lovely. maybe that's why she was here, but Athena said she didn't know about it. That does seem suspicious. If that's all you need, then I have to go. Kate will be so mad if she finds me gone. Good luck, Muse. This is just adding to my theory is that Athena is the one responsible. Here, I'm just thinking about Calliope. What happened to her here? Whatever she was trying to do, she probably didn't succeed. She ran from here, dying, maybe straight to our apartment. Because you were her last hope. Yeah. What if she hadn't made it? She must have known... 
One thing at a time, Grace. You'll figure it out. I know you will. I guess so. Next thing is to go back to Pan. Tell him his favor is done. <sighs> what an adventure. Sorry? You're just lucky, Grace. Luckier than you think. You go do what you have to, and I'll meet you back at the apartment. Okay? Mm. Pan! I hope you're here, because I don't know where else to look for you. Of course I'm here, Grace. Where else would I be but amongst the trees and the wild things? I really must thank you, by the by. Asterion is simply over the moon, and he's already repaid me with this select tome from the reliquary. That's why you did all this? Because you wanted some book? Not just some book, but a tome from the Forbidden Depths. <sighs> I doubt Hecate would be pleased. Oh, most assuredly not. Neither would Athena, which makes it all the more delicious. I trust you got what you needed. More grist for the mill of your innocence, as it were. It's quite the coincidence. The place you sent me just happens to be the place Calliope was attacked. That is quite the coincidence. You must be very grateful. Uh, it's just hard to trust a coincidence that big. You have no reason to be suspicious. I know nothing of what happened to Calliope at the reliquary. I suppose the question at the heart of this is, do you believe me? I wonder if he's the one that helped her sneak in. Like, knowing Pan, he would probably have known how to sneak into the reliquary. And he probably is the one who told Calliope. That's why he knew she was there the night she died. <laughs> You're enjoying this, aren't you? This tit for tat, back and forth. I'll enjoy it if you're enjoying it. Well, I'm not not enjoying it. <laughs> oh my, aren't you a delight. Even if you haven't answered the question, don't think I didn't notice. I've never lied to you, Grace, and I never shall. If you're looking for innocence, however, <laughs> well, I'm afraid that's one thing I cannot provide. What if I discover you're lying to me after all? You'll do what you do, and I'll do what I do, and we'll see where that takes us. I hope it's somewhere good. Somewhere I'm not on trial. Oh, my, my, my. You do know how to spoil the mood, don't you? If I can make a suggestion, live the high life. Throw caution to the wind. That's your suggestion? And why not? It's the same as when I first met you, Grace. You can enjoy being an idol. Simply follow my lead. <sighs> why not? <laughs> oh, uh, why not? He's an asshole. See now, this but I like him. Like you. Such a sense of the inappropriate. Those captions, why? It is an ugly business living among the gods. You'll always twist an arm, even if you're trying not to. And so I say, let's do it. The world, it needs that guy who is prepared to move the pieces in from every side. All of the world's on the edge of a knife So I choose partying There's no need for strife So dance, little Gracie Come, won't you dance Only so much of your life's in your hands Haven't I helped you? The rest is chance So come on, let's have this dance so what the call is close, we're both alive and well We'll live to fight another day as far as I can tell And even if you don't, and I expect you won't I promise you'll be glad you spent the night with me So dance little Gracie, 
Come, won't you dance? Only so much of your life's in your hands. Haven't I helped you? The rest is chance. So come on, let's have this dance. You don't have any hope for me, do you? You're just taking what you can get before it's over. I've seen this story many times, Grace. I've told this story many times. And it always ends the same way. You're hoping to find Medusa, I expect. Changing the subject? <laughs> and how do you even know about that? I'm just trying to be helpful, Grace. In my way. You'll find Medusa at a dingy little club appropriately named the Viper's Nest. Give her my regards. But do be careful if you call on her grace. Medusa is a hideous monster and should be treated as such. <laughs> 